Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today we're going over how to create a nice replacement sky. Because here in Arizona, the skies are not very nice. And I mean, this isn't the best example because, I mean, look at that. I mean, you can kind of tell the correlation on my wiener and stuff. But overall, the effect turns out really nice. And, um,. What I'm talking about is, check it out guys, I mean look how boring the sky is, I mean, I look at this and I want to throw up, literally, I just want to, I'm, I'm, oh, okay, I, just, I can't even, I can barely look at this, but the shot is very epic and beautiful, thanks to Brandon, thank you Brandon for doing this, like he, uh, came out and helped me, it was a little shaky, but, uh, I fixed that and in the end it turned out really good, you can kind of tell where I, I fixed it right there, you see my chest got all weird, but, in the end it turned out great so thank you so much Brandon and guys I'm gonna be including the plate and the sky tutorial and the example and the cluds layer which is actually the clouds uh, in the description so check that go to the description and download it because uh, yeah you get everything and you can follow along so uh, yeah where I learned this tutorial was uh, 2010 we were youngins we were we were born no, we weren't. I was just kidding there. But we were young, and we entered this contest, and I thought it'd be cool to key out the the sky and replace it with this nice f American flag in the background. No, it's not perfect, but it turned out really cool. So um, a couple people asked me how I did that back in the day, and so I'm going to just do it right now. I don't, I don't care, okay, guys? It's, just, it's my life, okay? I can do what I want. <laughs> so uh, yeah open the included sky tutorial and what you'll notice is I already applied a tracker and that's because I don't want to be spending 10 minutes on it guys you guys I, I'll put a link right here if you want to learn more about tracking but basically what I did was I went to this penis tree and I went to the very tip and I tracked that and then I applied a knoll to the very tip of the wiener tree so uh, simple as that if you guys know about tracking already then that should be easy and you should realize oh I'll just go down here and track motion and apply it to the tip of the wiener but if you don't know how to click the link that I'm putting in this corner alright and then go check out the tracker tutorial before you move on alright so now that we got the noobs out of the way let's do this thing hit control D with plate selected hit enter on plate oh 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 wait have plate selected I thought I did but uh, hit enter and we're gonna call it GS Play. I'm just uh, organizing stuff guys next go to the cluds layer drag and drop it in between or whatever clouds you guys have drag and drop it in between these two layers and then let's just rename it with it selected hit enter and then we're gonna name it just clouds I mean let's let's be legit here let's be nice um next uh, with cloud selected let's let's zoom out a little bit and then let's um, size this down a little bit hit s for scale and put it down and I already know I'm gonna want it kinda up because the sky this, just position it where you're gonna want it about and then pick whip it that's this little like swirly whirlpool thing you're gonna pick whip it to tracker and that just applied all the tracking data from the wiener tree onto the clouds layer so now it is stuck to that point you see now it follows the footage and I just noticed look at that it goes off the screen so actually gonna size it up a little bit maybe move it over a tad oh now it goes too far that way so I'm actually gonna move it right there how about how's that uh, does it go off nope 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 perfect awesome so it stays on just position it where you want it and now we can get to the needy goody <laughs> zoom in using the scroll wheel let's go up to effect with uh, GS plate selected keying key light and what that is is the most powerful keying software on the market in my opinion I love this thing I love green screening so much so that that's why I came up with this effect um, uh, grab screen color and then we're going to grab the blue up here and already you're getting results but we don't want to see those results just yet. Let's just create a new solid and let's make it white just so we can see what we're doing here. And then let's drag that in between or just behind uh, GS plate really. And then go back to GS plate in the effects. And now let's mess with this. I'm going to keep the screen gain at 100. I'm going to drop the screen balance all the way to zero. I'm going to 
put up the screen blur to like 1.3 that should be fine now let's switch over to screen mat let's zoom in a little bit go down here because this is where it's important and then let's drop down the screen mat menu right here and let's clip the black and already that's looking pretty good let's do it right about there and let's uh, bring down the white yeah, like 50 58 looks pretty good and then let's bring up the white a little more or the black let's clip it a little more maybe like 36 yeah that looks pretty good and then let's bring down the, the shrink let's shrink it to like negative four point eh, maybe not too much and then let's uh, bring up the softness a little bit and let's let's actually clip the white the, the black a little more alright now let's uh, go hard color you're gonna do this little drop down menu and we're gonna select hard color just it just changes the way that it looks really and let's go back to final result and check it out and that's looking pretty effing legit I can actually probably drop this down a little more just a tad yeah and that's looking pretty legit for keying out with the freaking sky alright so now let's delete this white layer and when you bring it back look at that guys already you have this great looking freaking picture and what I want to do is actually I don't like where that's at I want to move it up a little more oh not that silly go to the clouds layer let's move it up a little more yeah now let's see it yeah I like where that's sitting a lot more so just position it where you want really and um in the end it turns out really cool looking and I'm actually should want it up a little more I think what what do you guys think I mean do what you want really but hey this is my tutorial so I do what I want <laughs> so yeah in the end this is what you get and it's a pretty good key I mean it's not perfect if you spend more time on it tweak it until you get things perfectly the way you want then you can always go back guys I mean you can always tweak these settings more the thing um, that I love about this tutorial though is making it look even better and more realistic by adding color corrections. So let's right click, go new, adjustment layer. We'll just call this CC up here for color correction. All right, that's uh, that's how the pros say it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not pro. So go over to the right, and I'm gonna just use some magic bullet. You guys can do whatever you want, but I love magic bullet, so I'm gonna apply a nice vignette on top then I'm gonna grab mojo I'm gonna apply it on there too let's mojo this baby up let's uh, turn down the mojo a bit change the tint a little tad bit let's uh, let's warm it quite a bit to bring that nice freaking awesome coloring in and let's bleach it a tad bit maybe not too much let's, do I wanna punch it? nah not, not, not punching it too much just mess with these until you get something you like too and look at that Oh, that looks so cool. It makes the it makes the clouds just stand out so cool. Oh man, I love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. I love movie making. I love it. I'm gay for it. Alright, so the last thing is uh I added a nice glow, so we'll go stylize. Effect stylize glow. And let's uh put it up to the threshold to like what ninety four? And let's turn up the radius so you get a nice, like, soft, beautiful, sexy glow. <laughs> Just mess with it until you get something you like. And look how much more realistic it looks now, too. Just adding those simple things really amped up the realism to it. And uh, there you go, guys. That's simple, very, very simple using the sky to green screen a sky on top of it so looks good thank you guys so much for watching can't wait to see you guys next friday and i'm gonna go have fun up in prescott with my family for halloween now you guys should go check out we're gonna release a halloween video which is actually a throwback video that we're just revamping so pretty awesome so go watch that thank you guys so much for watching uh watch brandon's tutorial on tuesday and we love you guys, and we will see you guys next week. Peace.